welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, September 24th. It is 7.30 in the morning. But as you can see, I am dressed in my workout clothes, so I'm getting ready to go on a run before it gets too hot. Even though the first day of fall was just a few days ago, it is still 90 degrees with 93% humidity. You can see my kitty in the background. Maybe I, I think I need to feed her. Do I need to, where are you doing on the table? Hi, sweetie. Good morning. We have all the animals here right now, so I'm gonna feed them before I go on a run. Oh. Denali. Oh, Nolly. <laughs> Crazy oh. animal. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to vlog. Hold on. Give me a second. They see me in workout clothes and they think that we're going on a WALK. -okay. So I'm not that hungry this morning, which is why I took some of this L carnitine. It's great for fasted cardio. L-carnitine is a non-essential amino acid that helps to maintain overall good health by facilitating the transfer of fatty acid groups, blah, blah, blah stuff. So yeah, I just take this. It gives me that kind of boost of energy if I don't wanna sit there and drink a whole cup of coffee to wake myself up. I drink just a small spoonful of L-carnitine. I will try to look for this in a different flavor. I'll let you guys know if I find it, but now I'm going to go on my run. Well, I'm just cooling down after my mile run. It feels amazing outside. There is an awesome breeze. It's a bunch of people out and about this early for Saturday morning, so. I love getting my workouts in and done in the morning. It's my time to kind of think and reflect on things and set my intentions for the day, which I know I've talked about with you guys probably like a million times <laughs> in my other vlogs. But I was really excited because last night I kind of had this sort of like an epiphany a little bit as to what I want my next project to be. And I am still working on my new YA dark fantasy series. That's not going anywhere. And that's gonna be like six or seven books. But I started thinking more about nonfiction type projects. That is a really loud bird. So yeah, I sort of had an epiphany about what sort of nonfiction project I wanna get started on. And I actually started writing it last night. And I only got like a couple of pages deep, so nothing too crazy. I'm just excited to share it with you guys. So I will give more details on that. I don't wanna give anything away right now because it is in the early stages and I still need to flesh everything out. But I just love those days when you, I don't know, when you figure out stuff that you wanna do. Garage is opening. It's you. I was like, why is our garage door opening? I guess we're taking this inside. What are you doing today? Staying in the fire pit. Staying in the fire pit. Pit of fire. <laughs> we have to tell them about it. Coming soon. <laughs> it's not done yet. My fiance makes by hand some really awesome fire pits and we're going to start selling them on an Etsy store. So I'm gonna leave that link down below for you guys in case it's something that you're interested in because they're really cool. He's staining this one right now, so it's not done yet. Otherwise, I would show you what it looks like. But if you finish it today, then I will show them the final product. Okay, fine. I'll show them the unfinished product, and then you can see what the finished product looks like. Yeah. Okay, well, here it is. And obviously, all this lights up, and you can put... Hi! <laughs> the dogs are here. You can put lava rocks or fire glass or whatever you want in there, but he's going to stain this, this timber oil teak color which is gonna be really nice you're blocking the pit and then obviously that's where the propane hookup is and then he's gonna have like a door thing right yeah it's all be enclosed it's gonna be enclosed so that you can't see the propane tank and then he might put kind of like some little pieces right here so that you can like put your drink underneath it and not have it get hot or like blow up <laughs> But yeah, cool stuff. Entrepreneurs all around. What up? <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All riled up. ignore this crazy frizzy mess that I got going on right now. I just made my breakfast. It's 9 45. I'm having steel cut oats with brown sugar. I always put a little bit more brown sugar on there than I should, but whatever. I can't just eat oatmeal um, normally. I have to have some sweetness to it. So I'll add some brown sugar and then also blueberries and it tastes amazing. And then I normally have that with my coffee. So I'm just in my office right now. Got my computer open. I'm kind of going through some emails, you know, the usual thing that I do on my weekends. Apologies if you can hear the lawnmower outside. My fiance is mowing the yard, so it might get kind of loud. But I had a couple of exciting announcements. One of them is that I was contacted by Tamara Woods to do a YouTube collaboration with some other writers in the month of October, and it's called Project Write Tube or hashtag Project Write Tube. And throughout the month of October, it's a bunch of YouTubers who are also writers who are going to be filming videos. And there are certain topics for each day throughout the month where we will be giving advice to those of you who are planning on participating in NaNoWriMo this November. So I'm really excited to start this. I'm kind of just going through the emails right now and seeing what topics and what days kind of work with my schedule because I do have a very busy month in October. So I want to make sure I can film the right videos, but stay tuned for that because I'm really excited to post those. I'm also trying to post more vlogs. I'm trying to do one a week. So that's like four a month. It may only be three a month again, just depending on my schedule and what I can get done. But a lot of you have said that you really like watching these day in the life vlogs during my weekend and sometimes during my work week. So I'm trying to do more of those, give you guys what you want. And they're also fun to do. It's just, I have to remember when I'm doing stuff, I'm like, oh, I should probably vlog this. So it's taking some getting used to, but it's fun. Okay, sorry, I had to put that down because like my arm starts to hurt after a while, like holding it, you know, like right in front of my face. Yesterday was a very exciting day for me because I actually finished my final edit for The Order of Omega. And when I say final edit, I mean that if I have something that comes to me, I probably still will go in and add it, especially as, you know, through the month of October, I start working on restitution. If there is something that I could add into the Order of Omega to help foreshadow things that happen in the final installment in the Alpha Drive trilogy in restitution, then obviously I will do that. As far as it goes, it's just, it's done. And I, you know, I went through all the edits and um, all of the comments that my ARC readers had, beta readers had, all of that kind of stuff. And you know, added everything in there. So I can't believe that we're basically a month away from releasing The Order of Omega. That's, that's just crazy. It's such a good feeling. I'm so excited to get that book out to you guys and out into the world. I know October is going to be a difficult month because I am planning on writing the ending to restitution. And I just know I'm going to have a really hard time with it because once I write the ending to that book, I will never write about Emery, Torin, Mason, you know, any of my characters ever again. That's just a difficult pill to swallow, I think. What do we have on the agenda for today? I am gonna check up on some emails. I took a break from my dark fantasy manuscript, so that's something I'm going to work on today. I'm also going to outline some stuff for my nonfiction project, kind of get the 
just all my ideas in order and you know how I want it to be conveyed and what I want to say. Oh yeah, and the other thing I'm going to do obviously is film my YouTube video for Tuesday because I didn't have time to do that this week so we are going to be doing that today once I can get this, this figured out, so. I just finished filming my YouTube video for Tuesday. It feels so good to have that out of the way. I love filming, but um, I do have to actually do my research and I have this like script. It's like three pages long where I have all my information and exactly what I want to say because it's just easier for me if I've already written it out before. I know what I want to say and then I don't stutter like I sometimes do in these vlogs. It just makes it more professional. But anyways, I just finished that so I'm about to upload all of those onto my lovely computer. And then I think since it's only 11.15, I'm going to go ahead and try to edit that video and get it just on my computer and all ready for Tuesday because then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the weekend. So that is the plan. <laughs> I showed you guys this lovely happiness planner in a previous vlog I think just the last one I did in Arizona but actually last night was the first time I used it I started creating my happiness roadmap so the first section it's kind of hard to see is what makes you happy so you write that down how much it costs how good it makes you feel on a scale of 1 to 10 and how often you would like to do it and then you do the same thing for what makes you unhappy. Then it has a what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses page. So you circle the words that describe you and then you go ahead and put them in order. The next thing you fill out is what and who are you grateful for in life. You can see I pretty much filled up every single line. Then you write down what qualities or habits you would like to improve upon and then who would you like to see more often. The next page says, what have you achieved so far that you're proud of? And what are your dreams? What do you want to achieve in life? So then the final two pages in you know creating your happiness roadmap are what do you want to achieve by the end of this year? And sum up what you want to achieve over the next 100 days. So basically you end up tracking your happiness and your progress for 100 days. So it gives you this nice calendar between the years of 2016 and 2017. Before you begin, you rate how you feel. And the scales here are unhappy to happy, bored, excited, tired, energetic, stressed, calm, unhealthy, and healthy. You write down your goals for that week because you do it on a weekly basis, even though you track by day. At the end though, you sum up how each week was on a number scale. So your goals for the week, you set your time management goals, your financial goals, work goals, personal goals, and then for doing and achieving those goals, you have a reward section. And then you go through day by day, sorry, I know this is like really hard to see, and there's a quote at the top of each day, and you write what you're excited about, any exercises or workouts that you've done, or that could even include like meditation. You write down your main focus for that day. You also can write down, there's a section to write down your meals, as well as a notes and a to-dos section. And then at the bottom, you write the good things about today, what you're grateful for, and what you're hoping for tomorrow. And you repeat that, each day until you hit the end of the week where you have a weekly reflection. You write down the good things about the week, the negative things about the week, the positive side of the negative things that you wrote down and what you'd like to improve on next week. And then you go ahead and start and write down your goals for that next week. So it's 100 days of tracking and I'm going to start this today. I was gonna wait to start on Monday and I was like, why would I do that? I filled out my happiness roadmap last night and I want to start living the happiest lifestyle that I possibly can. So why would I wait until Monday? Why not start today? Again, I got this at Anthropology. It was $30. I'm sure that you can probably find this online on Amazon or on Anthropology.com 
or you can visit your local anthropology store. But I will let you guys, I'll kind of keep you updated in some future vlogs, you know, whether or not I'm keeping up with this and how it's working for me and if, you know, it's life changing or anything like that. Because I love finding journals and stuff like this that are different than your just, you know, the blank pages in a journal. That's good to write, but sometimes it's good to have certain areas that you can focus on to improve upon your quality of life. We are heading to bowling with some of our friends. Not yet though, we're going to the woodlands first to get some food, but then we're going bowling. and we got six <laughs> weirdo we got six bottles of wine and I'm trying this monster zero ultra energy drink it has zero calories and zero sugar this is literally there's some pulling up next to me that's so awkward because I'm vlogging this is literally <laughs> the best energy drink I've ever tasted ah! and he has some crappy Red that. Bull <laughs> this is so much better Day, friends what a day it's getting late and so I am going to do a little bit of reading I'm currently reading or still reading a shadow bright and burning by Jessica Cluis it's really good so far I'm really enjoying it so I'm gonna try to read like 30 to 50 pages tonight before I go to bed oh and I'm gonna take all this off of my face and pass out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye!